I'm Jewel Howard Taylor, Vice President of the Republic of Liberia and a proud partner with Keep Liberia. Today, I'll be reading for you a very exciting book. It is exciting because it talks about my city. It is written by a Liberian author and illustrated by another Liberian. The book is called, In Monrovia, The River Visits the Sea. Written by Patricia Jebel Wesley and illustrated by Kula Moore. We'll be talking about our own city, Monrovia. There's a nice picture of Monrovia. Even the Ducal Palace Hotel, the former Ducal Palace Hotel. This story shows an illustration of the city by the river. The river behind my house is beautiful. The river is long and wide. Sometimes the river rushes, swish, swish, swish. Sometimes the river goes slow, slow, slow. When I wake up in the morning, I walk to the porch in the back of our home. I can see the sun there, high up in the sky. Near my house, I can walk on perfect dry swamp land to stand near the river banks with my brother. My brother's name is Clon, and my name is Jide. My brother is 12 years old, but I am seven years old. Some days when I come home from school, our backyard is full of river water. Hmm. Sometimes the water is here with us, and then sometimes the water is gone. Daddy says it is the high and the low tide. When it's high tide, the water is all over. And when it's low tide, the water goes away. Other days when I come home from school, the river is very high. And the river could be up to my knees. And it's all over the swamp land behind our home. But my brother says that the river has a home. So where is the river's home? I asked him. In the river's banks, my brother tells me laughing. My brother can do magical things. My brother says he knows how to make the river come and the river go. My brother laughs when he talks about the river. He loves the river. My brother says the river is good, but the river is also bad if you fall into it. He always tells me never to visit the river alone. What is the name of the river? I asked my brother. The Mesurado River, my brother says. Mesurado River. But what is the name of the sea that the river goes to visit? I ask. Oh, it is the Atlantic Ocean, he says. But I thought it was the sea again and not the ocean, I say. My brother replies, no, 
this is the Atlantic Ocean, but everyone calls it the sea. The sea is shorter to say, I guess, but they are not the same. My teacher says that a river is a large body of water that empties into the sea. An ocean or the another body of larger water. This is why the river behind my house empties into the Atlantic Ocean. And that is the end of our story. This story tells us about two bodies of water. The smaller body of water called a river and the larger body of water, the sea. Sometimes the sea is called the ocean, but they are not the same because the sea though a large body of water is not as large as the ocean. So the river is smaller, the sea is smaller, and then the ocean is larger than both. Our questions for today, question number one, are you guys ready? What was the name of the river? And this river flows through many places and ends up into the Atlantic Ocean. It is called the Mesurado River. I believe the name Mesurado River was given because the county is called Monserrado County and the river had a similar name as the county, but they are both pronounced and spelled different. One is Monserrado County, and the other is the Mesurado River. Second question. Have you ever visited a sea, the ocean, a river, a lake, all alone? I hope your answer to that question is no. And is no because children should not visit bodies of water alone. Even if it is a well in your yard, because it is water, you could actually get drowned if you fell into a well or a sea or the ocean or a river. And if you are all alone, you might not be able to save yourself. So remember, no one should visit any body of water alone. Our special word for today is S-E-A, C. The special word for today is S-E-A, C. A C is a body of water larger than a river, but smaller than an ocean. So your special word for today is S-E-A. Thank you for listening to this beautiful story about our city, Monrovia, and how the Mesurado River visits the sea. But this same sea is also called the Atlantic Ocean. The Mesurado River flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Thank you, Madam Patricia Wesley, 
for bringing us this beautiful book about Monrovia and about the difference between the river and the sea. Remember, the sea is the home of the river. The river flows into the sea or the Atlantic Ocean. It's been a privilege reading this special book for you this morning. from the Case Educational and Engagement Project. Keep! K-E-E-P say you must learn how to read. Keep Liberia say you must learn how to read. Education, that everybody's future. Education, my people, that everybody's future.